We're here with Razor now, who are happily uh, have their new album out now, I guess. Ah, happily, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're here with uh, Dave and Stace and Mike. Uh, so you guys got your album out. Are you happy with it? Things going well with it for it? As far as we know. That was, that was Stace. Who? <laughs> 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 Hey, you're not important. What are you talking about? No. Uh, yeah, things are going very good with it. We want it to sell tons. Uh, we hope it goes quadruple platinum and makes Quiet Riot albums look like they're not happening at all, right? <laughs> but, but we don't know what'll happen. <laughs> How are the sales happening? You, you sell them a lot at, right at the moment? Well, Attic said things were going really well, so we take their word for it, and we, we hope that it just keeps going up, right? Like, uh, apparently it's only been introduced to Canada, and it just got introduced to Europe just recently, like within a few days, so it's hard to tell what's happening there yet. Okay, uh, what else, you guys got anything else planned for recording in the near future, or are you just going to wait and see what happens with this one for now? Well, we've got some new death lined up, but we haven't got any plans to record it yet. We've got, you know, uh, five new originals written that we think are great. You know? We hope, hopefully plan to enter the studio, like, within the year. Yeah, if possible, yeah. Eight months, whatever. Okay. okay, you guys have been playing basically pretty regularly around Toronto. One of those dates was opening up for somebody at Heaven. Can you tell us something about? Oh, oh yeah, that that <laughs> Oh yeah, we we opened for some ignorant people at Heaven, but uh, we won't say who that was. They know that they're ignorant, and they need not worry about that any further. Uh, we don't want to point out. We don't want to make any enemies in the industry. But you guys are ignorant. Remember that. But nonetheless, uh, we had rock a good time stars. at Heaven. Rock stars. Yeah, rock stars. Yep. Yeah, but anyway, we had a good time there. The our fans were there, and that's what counts. I mean, Cut uh, loose. yeah, having a good time, and uh, we encourage that at all our shows. So remember that, guys. Bring your baseball bats and chains and spikes. And, and we plan to do a few more gigs with Uncle Len, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So. We're trying to see if we can open for him on some more occasions, right? Okay, you guys did a couple of dates with Slayer and Venom, one here and one in Montreal. How did those go? Slayer was great. Yeah, pretty Venom good. Venom was great, too. The only problem we had was with uh, Venom's crew seemed to think that just because they were working for Venom, they were, had the same rights as the band did. Well, they thought they were, they were, they thought they were rock star roadies, right? And yeah. as a result, they... You could, you could tell they were out-of-work musicians is what they were. Hired out of Canada, thought they were cool because they were working for a big band from England. But actually, in all honesty, we thought Venom were nice guys with yeah, the 30 seconds guys. I shared with Kronos. Uh, <laughs> how, did the, how did the crowds react to you guys up there? They liked us. We only yeah. played one night because the uh, first night Venom took so long for their sound check, and we, they didn't have time for us to do anything, so they sort of just cut that night off for us. So we were a little peeved about that. But It was, it was a great gig for Impact on a new yeah. city, though. The yeah. second night, yeah, it was really good. They yeah, got I, know, I noticed in Toronto the fans go quite rabid over you guys. Yeah, well, that's... Well, that's much they, they the know crowd, us, right? The crowd isn't quite as rowdy. You know, they're into it, but they're not, you know... They didn't understand our English, right? But <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's probably it. Okay. Uh, you guys are signed on Viper now. They're taking care of all your LP stuff. How are they treating you? Things working out well with them? Yeah. They're, they're giving us a lot of freedom. They're a really. good. They're a really good label. I'm really impressed with everything that's gone down at this point. Uh, things are far better than I expected. We we had our say on this album, and we stand 100% behind the tunes. Every, everybody was pretty scared that we were going to kind of get uh, shot. Gung out. We know? thought they might try to try to commercialize us, right? But then they explained that the whole Viper concept is is heaviness, and they, they've let everything we do ride, and they They've taken our opinion at face value, and that's what counts, right? Okay, what's happening with Armed and Dangerous? Are they plans to re-release that, or is that disappearing? Not as yet. Well, like to quote Metallic Assault magazine, it's totally Lee Stoire now. It's Collector's item. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's sold out. Uh, I think the record peddler is the only place that has any left. So, buy it there. <laughs> okay, are you guys going to do any tour for the plan for the LP? As far as, like, Canada or the States, possibly even Europe or UK happening? Well, we've got... 2,000 dates lined up in Japan right now. <laughs> We've got a world tour of Tahiti coming up soon, too. But other yeah, well, than that, the U.S. The Viper's trying right. to arrange arrange something for us, and there's a few other people. We're looking, yeah, we yeah. have a few agencies that are uh, going to be looking at us. And yeah, the album's taking off in Peru, by the way. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> All right, so uh, where can people find you in the next few, little while around Toronto, anyway? In Toronto, we're playing Larry's Hideaway on May 10th, and it's probably the last show Razor's going to do in Toronto area for quite a while, so I encourage everybody to come out and see us, because it's going to be mayhem. Come on out and thrash. Make sure, guys. Don't take us for granted. <laughs> okay, and uh, who exactly is badge number 4923? He's a prick. Yeah, that's who he is. He's a, a uh, Toronto police officer who saw fit to give Stace a hard time for virtually no reason at all. Cost and me mega dollars in court. Yeah, and we don't care for him very much, as you can tell when you read the inner sleeve of our album. <laughs> all right, so I guess uh, 
That's about it for you guys. What? You run out? You want to get rid of us now? Yeah. Throw us out. It's we'll time. Well, we're history. Yeah.